Yes, good morning, beta. We were revising chapter number two polynomial, so let's continue with that. Yesterday we did question regarding the factorization of one quadratic polynomial by middle term splitting method. Now we are going to do similar type of question. Then we will do the factorization of cubic. Okay, so start this question. Six x square plus five x minus six. Next is three x square minus six minus four. Find the factors by middle term splitting method. Hurry up, get the factors. Multiply the first and the last one. So first term will be multiplied with the last term, and six six are thirty six. Make the factors of thirty six. What will be the factors of thirty six? Nine fours are thirty six. So here you will write nine x four x minus six sine plus. Minus. Take three x common, two x plus three. Take minus two common, two x plus three. So factors are two x plus three, and another one is three x minus two. So these are the two factors, and zeros are minus three by two and two by two. So the question is find the factors of this or find the zeros of this by factor theorem. Then what you will do? You will make the factors in the rough by middle term splitting, and these factors you will put in this polynomial p x, and you will show that the value of this will be zero because these are the two factors, and that will surely give you. Zero as answer. Okay. Next question. Make the factors. Yes, anyone who want to give answer of these this quadratic polynomial. Yes, listen, beta. In the morning only, I have sent you ten questions for practice. Mix questions from this chapter. Whatsoever we have revised till now from this chapter polynomial. I have written nine questions from this chapter and one from the probability that we have revised. So daily I will send you few questions for practice. You will solve them, and if you will have any doubt, we can discuss them in the class. Yes, Jia. Ma'am, the answer is three x minus four x plus one. Okay, we have the factors three x. Three x squared. Square minus four x plus three x minus four. Same factors. I want the answer in this form. Yes, ma'am. Three x minus four brackets in brackets. X plus one. Yes, it's correct. So these are the factors, and zero is four by two and minus. Is it okay? Now let's start with the factorization of the cubic polynomial. First is x cube minus two x square minus x plus two. So this x square common, you are left with x minus two. From this, you will take minus one common x minus two. So the first factor is x minus two, and next is x minus one. Yes, we have a long way to solve such type of question, but 
this is the short way and the method to recognize these type of question is can you see that we have same coefficient 1 1 minus 2 2 2 same coefficients are there so each number each coefficient is occurring two times so that means this is the short question time okay so you will take simply common from the first two term last two terms if it doesn't work you can make group with first with the third second with the last as we did in the class eight in factorization chapter here also this is your a square minus b square that is a minus b a plus b so these are the factor x is equal to 2 minus 1 and this is 1 this is minus 1. so these are the three factors for this cubic polynomial okay So these are the three factors. And one more thing, if these are the three zeros of the polynomial, these must satisfy the given polynomial. If you put by factor theorem each factor in the polynomial, you will surely get zero. Got it? Any doubt? Next is one more question of the similar type of writing. 2y cube plus 1y cube equal to minus 2y minus 1. So this is your cubic polynomial. 2, 2, 1, 1. So this is same type of question. Take common from the first two term, last two term. Hurry up. Take common. Done. <clears throat> so from here, what you will do, you will take common from the first two term. Y square is common. You are left with y plus 1. From here you will take minus 1 common 2y plus 1. As you can see that these two brackets are same as in the case of the earlier question. So This is your first factor, 2y plus 1, and another term is y square minus 1. 2y plus 1, this is your a square minus b square, a plus b, a minus b. So these are the three factors for your given polynomial.
Now, there is one another way to solve such type of question when the coefficients are entirely different. So let's start with that. X cube minus three x square minus nine x minus five. X cube minus three x square minus nine x minus five. You will put numbers by factor theorem. You will verify which is the solution. You will put zero. Then polynomial at zero will not give you zero. When you put one, then polynomial at one will be one minus three minus nine minus five. That is minus sixteen, which is not equal to zero. Now you will put minus one, minus one, minus three plus nine minus five, which is minus nine plus nine. Answer is zero. So minus one is the zero of t x. Minus one is the zero of t x. So this is the zero of t x. Then x plus one. Is the factor of p x? If minus one is the zero of the p x, then x plus one is the factor. So what you will do? You will divide this given polynomial with x plus one. X will be multiplied with which number to get x cube? X square. That will be x cube. There are two terms, so here you will write two terms. First, you have multiplied x with this, then you will multiply one with x squared. That is plus x squared. Sign change plus minus cancel. Sign change minus minus plus sign bade. Minus minus plus sign bade. Now x will be multiplied with which number to get minus four x cube? First we need minus, so I will write minus here. We need four, I will write four here. Then next I need x. Second term minus four x. Plus minus minus. Sign will be of three. X will be multiplied with minus five. That is minus five x minus five. Sign change plus minus cancel. Sign change plus minus cancel. Remainder is zero. Remainder must be zero because minus one is the fact is a zero. It must be divided and remainder must be zero. If you are not having remainder as zero. That means you must have divided in the wrong manner. Okay. Got it. Now, actually, in this cubic polynomial, we must have three zeros. One we have got by this method, trial method. Another two you will get by middle term spreading in this. So you will make the Factors of this by middle term splitting that will give you remaining two zeros. And one more thing, this is your dividend. So by division algorithm, dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So its cash value that that will be equal to the product of these two. So that I am going to write here. This is your dividend is equal to divisor into quotient. Plus remainder. Is kya factors karo de? You will make the factors. You will. You want to have minus four, so I will write five x. Five x one x. We need minus four. <coughs> minus yes. A common, x common, one common, 
This is x minus five. This is x plus one. So these are the three factors of this cubic polynomial. One you have already got. These are the factors. So these three are the zero. Have you noticed one thing? Minus one and minus one both are same. So two of its zeros are same and one is different. Start third part of this question. Question number five. Exercise two point four. Exercise two point four. Question number five. Third part. That is exactly of similar type. Start this question. I am waiting. Hurry up. Yes, have you got the first factor? Yes, anyone? Yes, anyone who have got the first factor? X cube plus thirteen x square plus thirty two x plus twenty. This is your polynomial. As you have seen that in the earlier question, out of the four terms in the last question, three were negative. So we have got zero with the negative term. Here also, majority of the terms are positive. Means all are positive here. So definitely, you will put negative term to get your zero. Because if half are positive, half are negative, then only the terms will cancel out. So no need to put positive terms. Directly use negative term minus one. Minus one plus thirty minus thirty two plus twenty. That is minus thirty three plus thirty three. Answer is zero. So what does it mean? Minus one is the zero of p x. Okay, and x plus one is the factor of p x. Got it. So now, what you will do? You will get remaining two zeros by dividing this given polynomial with this. So let's start the reason. X will be multiplied with. X will be multiplied with x square. This will give you minus x. Second term that is x square. Cancel plus minus minus 
Now x will be multiplied with 12x to get 12x squared. Sign change cancel. Second term plus 12x. Sign change plus minus minus that will be 20x with positive sign. This is 20. Remainder should be 0 because this minus 1 is a 0. And if you are not getting remainder as 0, that means you must have divided in a normal manner. So you will write here 20, that is 20x sign change cancel. Next term is 20 sign change cancel. So that means by division algorithm, you can say that if you get You will write here by division algorithm plus 32x plus 20 is equal to divisor into quotient. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient. Now the this is cubic, it must have three zeros. 1 is given, so you will get remaining 2 by the factorization of this. Hurry up, divide it and tell me the answers. Yeah, tell me the zeros of the other two zeros of this polynomial. Hurry up. Ma'am, minus 10 and minus 2. Minus 10 and minus 2? Yes, ma'am. So, zeros are, factors are x plus 1, x plus 10, x plus 2. And zeros are minus 1, minus 10, and minus 2. So, these are the three zeros of this cubic polynomial. I am writing one more question. You please all solve that. X cube minus 23 X square plus 142 X minus 120. Solve this better. Get the factors of this. This is cubic polynomial, so you will have at most three zeros, maybe two or three of them will be same, but you need to find it one by the middle term splitting method and another two by mid, first by the trial method and another two by dividing and then applying middle term splitting to that. Yes, again, in this question, two of the terms are positive and remaining two are negative. So maybe you will get zero as remainder by putting positive as well as negative term. So you have to check it. We are not sure about that. If I put one here, one minus 23, 144 minus 23. That is 143. Minus 143, remainder is 0. So 
So one is the zero of p x, and x minus one is the factor of p x. Is it okay? Now please divide it. Hurry up. Divide it and tell me the question. What you are getting after division? Ma'am, quotient is x square minus twenty two x plus one hundred twenty. Plus one hundred. Is it correct, Priyanshika? Okay. Now make the factors of one twenty, one twenty into one, one twenty. Make the factors. What you are getting? What you are getting as factors? Ma'am, x minus ten, x minus one, and x minus twelve. Only this one, but now tell me the factors of this one. Ma'am, twelve and ten. Is it okay? So these are the two factors, and all the factors. But see, whenever the question comes in the exam, it is mentioned in the question. Write the factors. You have make the factors of this. So, जो आपने first find किया और दो बाद में तीनों, you have to write all three at the end. So, x cube, you have to write the factors are x minus ten, and zeros are n twelve minus one. So these are the factors, and these three are the zeros. Is it okay? Yes, everyone, write down the formula. A plus B whole square. Yes, who will tell me the formula of A plus B whole square? Yes, Dharvi, Divya. Ma'am, A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square plus two AB. Okay. Yes, Riyanshika, A minus B whole square. Ma'am, a square plus b square minus two ab. Okay, next dia. Wait. Yes, ma'am. Third identity. Uh, a square minus b square is equal to a plus b a minus b. Okay, write down one question. Solve this. Make the factors of this. Make the yeah. You can say find the zeros of this. Make the factors here. This is your a square minus b square. Apply the third identity. Do it, hurry up. 